Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? I am here with another video. This week we are using the Beautifully Happy stamp set. It is the $100 level free product from the mini catalog. Well, actually not from the mini catalog. I shouldn't say mini. From the celebration brochure, you can purchase $100 of anything that you want. But this is a $100 level set. It's a large set. It's a two-step stamping set. Let me flip to that page for you guys so you can see how ultimately awesome it is. So I know it doesn't look like much when you see the stamp set itself, but these are the overlay pieces. And tomorrow I will be doing a video on how all of that works. But for today, <laughs> we are going to show the stamp set itself and um, we're gonna make a really cool card. But you can earn this with a $100 purchase. You get to pick um, either this set, this paper. I think that's it. I think there's just two offerings. Yes, just those two offerings, either the paper or this set. And um, I highly recommend this set. It's beautiful, it has great sentiments, and it fits all different occasions. So. Let's go ahead and get started, and I'm going to show you how to make this card. The cool thing about today is that, see how I used um, Petal Pink for this card, pulling from the colors that were in this designer series paper. Um, the piece that I cut from that same sheet in this one had Fresh Freesia. So this time I'm going to use Fresh Freesia for my accents instead of petal pink. So let's see how that card turns out. I've also used um, scallop contour dies, which you guys know I love these. That's what I used for the inside. And this is an easel card. So there's the inside. And then this piece stands up. So this little tag right here is the smallest one here. You could also take this larger scallop instead of just cutting around the DSP you could put another scallop here to tie the scallop in if you want it would just take up more room on your background paper but that's also an option and I wanted to talk about this really awesome paper it is called Fancy Flora 6x6 and the piece that I use, look at all these different ones. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? But the piece that I used is back here. Let me grab it, here it is. This was the piece that I used. So the one that we're using for this card is this corner here, or this piece here. The part that I used um, was this piece for this card. So you can see how gorgeous this paper is and what the possibilities are for it. It's pretty cool. There's so many different um, papers and it's a six by six. You have all different colors. Let me read you all the colors that are in this paper. So Balmy Blue, Basic Gray, Calypso Coral, Daffodil Delight, Evening Evergreen, Fresh Freesia, Night of Navy, Orchid Oasis, Pool Party, Soft Sea Foam, Soft Suede, and Soft Succulent. Pretty nice colors so I like that it has so many colors in it so that we can use um, a variety of looks with that paper pack so let's go ahead and get started the first thing we're going to do is stamp our flower so let's get my scrap paper out <clears throat> and I am going to stamp that flat the large flower in orchid oasis so I'm gonna actually bring the ink pad to my stamp and just make sure that it is inked up properly. We'll fit it here. Let's see if I can fit it. Yeah, that's good right there. And then we're going to squeeze this flower. There's that one. Let's squeeze the smaller one, but let's clean as we go so I don't make a mess all over my hands. Because, you know, I'm good for that. <laughs> 
So we're also gonna do the small flower. I'm also gonna outline that in the Orchid Oasis. So we're gonna ink that one up right there. And let's see if we have room for it. Oh, we do. Right here, we will stamp it in that corner, just like that. All right, and we'll clean it. So the way that this stamp, this stamp um, works is we're gonna fill in color with ink. So we're using Orchid Oasis, and then for the small flower, we're gonna do Fresh Freesia. So let's go ahead and open that one, and we'll do the small flower. Here's the small flower. This is the outline for it. So in the stamp set, you have that small flower, and there's the filler. You have the large flower, there's the filler, and then this is the leaf filler, and then the pod filler right here. So we're gonna work on our fresh freesia flower, which is the one that we're gonna replace the petal pink. So we're gonna do fresh freesia this time. Let's go ahead and get me to line that up as best I can. And this stamp set is very forgiving. So you don't have to worry if you don't get it perfect. It's super forgiving. So there's our fresh freesia flower instead. For the center, I'm also going to do Fresh Freesia, and I'm going to show you there's a little tiny stamp. Here it is. No, actually, that's not the one. Let me find it. It's here somewhere. I think it's with the B. Here it is. So it's this little tiny stamp right here, and I'm just going to ink it a few times to get it nice and dark. So I'm going to stamp over the top multiple times just to darken that center piece so it really stands out. So there we have it so far. Let's go ahead and do um, the little pod underneath and the, the green pod. And we're gonna use Pool Party for that. So I'm gonna open my Pool Party. I'm gonna grab my little stamp. So this stamp here does the little pod You'll see, I'll show you. We're gonna grab our, our uh, pool party for our green. And we're gonna line that up with the pod and the piece under the flower. And again, like I said, this stamp set is very forgiving. So that stamps that section right there. And then I'm gonna use a pool party blend and I'm gonna go over this section here to match. All right, so we're done with Fresh Freesia for now. And then we're gonna do this flower next. So let's go ahead and we're gonna get our Orchid Oasis back open. And we're gonna do our flower section first. So here's our little flower section. So we're gonna do the flower that's here, the one here, the large one, this one here, and the smaller one that's starting to open. So we're gonna ink that up. And I'm gonna stamp off. So I'm gonna grab a scrap paper. I don't want it to be full strength because the lines are full strength. So I want it to be stamped off. So I'm just gonna stamp onto a scrap piece of paper, pull straight up, and then I'm gonna come back in without re-inking it. And that's stamping off, that's what that's called. And I'm gonna try and line this up as best I can. But like I said, if you're not perfectly aligned, this stamp is super forgiving. And it works out okay. So there's my flower pieces. See how cool this stamp set is? All right, let's get our leaf pieces. So we're done for now with Orchid Oasis. So let's bring the pool party in. And again, these leaves are gonna line up with these leaves, so we're gonna do that part first. Let's ink them up. And I'm gonna do those full strength. The only reason I went half strength is I wanted the lines to really show on my flowers. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna line up our leaves. And again, like I said, it is super forgiving, so don't be scared if you don't get it perfect but it's very simple to line up. I think it actually lines up pretty easily. 
for the most part. So we're gonna press that down. So there's our leaves. We have to do our little pod up here, then the little pieces underneath those two buds and under this bud here. So that's another stamp. And we're gonna use this right here, this one down at the bottom right here. So I'm gonna ink that up and we're lining that part up. So I'm gonna line up that pod first and then I make sure all of these are lined up, well, you know, the best we can, like I said. Life's not perfect, neither am I. We'll ink that up. And there's our little pods. They're not open yet, the flowers haven't burst out. You can see this one has the flower burst out from the pod, so it is kind of neat. And again, we're gonna use the Stampin' Blend to color the stem here. Pool Party, same color as our ink, which is what I love about Stampin' Up! is the coordination. I love that so much. I wanna do the inside of this flower. So there's a little circle center. So I'm gonna grab my Orchid Oasis and I'm gonna stamp it at full strength. I'm not gonna stamp off this time. And I'm just gonna do that center and it's dark enough. So we'll clean that. All right, let's fussy cut these flowers and then we'll stamp a little bit more because we have to stamp our flower on the inside. We have to stamp our words on our pieces. So let's fussy cut first and get everything in place for assembly. And once we're done with that, we can um, work on the rest of the stamping and assemble our card. So this stamp set, there's no dies, so you just have to fussy cut, but it's fairly simple to fussy cut. You're just gonna wiggle your um, paper around your image and follow along. I like to leave um, a white border all the way around because for me, when there's a white border, it draws your eye inward. Cut that off so I don't have to hold on to that whole big sheet for the small flower. And we're almost done. See how I'm just kind of wiggling? So there's that one. That's the one that's gonna be attached right here on the side of the large one. I tuck that one in. I'll put my card there so you guys can watch. Let's cut this piece off, get rid of that. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna start here at the stem. And I'm gonna come up and around this leaf, leaving a little border all the way around. You can um, come in like I'm coming, or you can leave more white if you prefer. It's up to you. However you want to do yours, it's your project, right? I'm just gonna move that leaf out of my way temporarily so I can get in here. I kinda go a little extra, but you don't have to be me, you can be you. I'm gonna move that leaf out of the way now and get this piece cut. So let's go ahead and work our way around this next large leaf. And let's cut that piece off. The less paper I have in the way, the easier it is for me to manipulate my scissors around things. So now comes the easy part. We're gonna work our way around the outline. No intricate parts, no parts to dip into or anything like that. We're gonna come around our flower, just like so. And I'm actually going to come down and in here, but you don't have to. I'm just going to cut that opening there around this pod. And then I'm just going to move this flower out of the way and come back in here by this leaf. And then once I've done that cut, it's easier for me to swing around that last little pod there. There we go. And we're gonna work our way around this little set of pots and then we're home free, because this is, that was the hardest part. So, a little bit more. Come down in here. 
And like I said, if you don't prefer to fussy cut and you want to leave a little bit more white than I do, that's perfectly fine. It's your card. No one's going to see mine and say, oh, you didn't do it like Kelly. So it's really okay to do your own thing. It'll be still just as beautiful, even if you leave the white. I just prefer to have a little bit less white. So we're going to come down around this leaf. This is our last hurrah, our last thing we have to wiggle around. And then we come down that stem and we're home free. Here we go. I'm going to cut that straight and then I'm just going to hold it in my hands and round the section just like that. All right. <clears throat> so I will keep this piece because I can fit quite a few flowers in there, but I'm going to cut all these jagged pieces off. All right. Let's get rid of that. I can fit small flowers in that spot, so I will use that. I'm going to put it in my scrap bag. I keep a little scrap bag of white in front of me at all times. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our piece here stamped. This says happy, sending happy thoughts. So we're gonna stamp that in Orchid Oasis. I'm gonna grab my word set. So we'll ink that up here and it'll be to the right, not all the way on the end, maybe about three eighths to a half an inch from the right side. Sending happy thoughts, just like that. And then our piece on the inside is gonna get some stamping. And we're also gonna stamp some words that say for a feeling better kind of day. So I'm gonna ink that up and bring it down here so that you guys can see me stamp it. For a feeling better kind of day. The font is so pretty on this stamp set. It's really beautiful, so. There's that, so let's do our white piece. And so let us let me give you some dimensions. I haven't really given you any dimensions. So the main card is five and a half by eight and a half inches. And then I scored it at four and a quarter and two and an eighth. And that's how I got this score mark here and here. I haven't done that yet, but I will do it in a minute. This piece here is two and an eighth by five and a quarter inches. And I'll give you the dimensions on the front panels in a second. So let's go ahead and stamp this. So we're going to use the same flower. We're going to do the same outline. So we're going to ink that up. And we're going to place that flower here. Perfect. Clean it. And then I'm going to use that same color to fill in the flower itself and the center of the flower. So let me grab the stamp for that. So here's our flower. And remember, we're stamping off. So I have to grab my scrap paper that I used earlier. And I'm going to stamp, whoops, I didn't get it inked very well. I'm going to stamp off. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to fill that flower in to the best of my ability. If it's not perfect, who cares? Life's not perfect. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Let's clean that. And then we're going to do the green pod and the center of the flower. So let's do the center while I have that ink out and then we'll switch. So remember, this is going to be full strength. Might go a little darker. There we go. So there's the center of that pod. And then let's do the green. And remember, that's just a small stamp, and that's going to be with our pool party. It's not actually green. It's kind of an aqua. And then we're going to use Fresh Freesia to do those little dots. So let's go ahead and ink this up, and we'll fill the pod here, just like that. And we'll use our blend to go ahead and do our stem. I'm going to do a little bit more down here, I think. There we go. And then we're going to do our splatter dots. So the cool thing about this stamp set is that it has these cool little splatter dots. I'll show them to you on the case. They're easier to see on there because they're in black. 
there they are. And any stamp set that has splatter dots has my heart. So let me put my scrap paper underneath in case I go off the, off the grid. But I'm gonna put these little speckles just on my piece here, wherever I want, and as many as I want, because it's my card. <laughs> so this time, I did them last time in um, petal pink, so this time I'm doing them in the Fresh Freesia. And so this piece is um, two and a quarter by two and an eighth. That's all the stamping. So let me score my card and once more we'll do all the dimensions, okay? For you guys. All right. Let's start with our core card. So it's a piece of Orchid Oasis and it's eight and a quarter by five and a half inches. So we're gonna score that. You guys know I love my scoreboard. So I'm gonna score that at four and a quarter and two and an eighth, which is one tick past the two. So those are my two score marks. So eight and a half by five and a half. Actually, let me write it for you guys as we go. So eight and a half by five and a half. And then we're gonna score at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. And that's Orchid Oasis. And then for the inside piece, we have two and an eighth by five and a quarter of basic white inside. And then we have a strip let me fold, let me score on the, let me burnish first and then we'll start assembling the card and then you guys can see it put together. So I'm gonna get my burnish my, on my score lines. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm trying to help you guys getting ahead of myself. All right, so here is the easel part. There we go. All right, so this is the part that's gonna stand up. So on the inside, we have our basic white piece that we've stamped on and it's two and an eighth by five and a quarter. I'm gonna add a little bit of wet adhesive. We'll go ahead and add that to the inside of our card. So this goes on the inside. Just make sure that we have a nice border there, okay? Then this piece that's gonna come across this bottom section is three quarters of an inch by five and a half inches. So three quarters of an inch by five and a half and it's DSP and it's inside. And we are also going to use our wet adhesive, our multi-purpose glue has so many names, green and white glue. We call it all kinds of names, don't we? I'm gonna hold on to that, move this out of the way. And then this piece is gonna come across. I'm gonna leave about mm, three eighths of an inch or so at the bottom. Wanna make sure it's nice and flush. Perfect. So there's our strip for our card. It's all the way across. There's good. And then we are going to attach to the front next, okay? So this piece on the front, we're gonna attach these two pieces together. And so these pieces are two and a quarter by four. I'm sorry, two and three quarters by four, and this is um, Fresh Freesia, or Petal Pink for the other card. And then the DSP is two and a half by three and three quarters. 
and that's the DSP that nests on there. So let's go ahead and attach that together. So pretty. All right. And I think I'm going to sit it with all this color in this corner here up there. So to decide how we're going to glue it onto our front of our card, I place it so that it's in the center and there's about the same border all the way around my card. Okay. And when I'm happy with that, I'm gonna open my card. Whoops, I didn't mean to move it, but I'm gonna open my card, okay? And I'm gonna hold on to this, and I'm gonna flip this part down. And I'm gonna put adhesive. I'm gonna slide that in. I'm gonna put adhesive on that part. I only want it to stick on the bottom portion underneath that score mark. So once I have it where I want it, I'm just gonna slide my finger to hold the top and I'm gonna press that down and then quickly I'm gonna turn it over and make sure that it's still centered how I want it centered on my card, okay? So once I'm happy with placement, and I'm happy I think, I think it's pretty even part. All right. Now I'm going to make sure that there's no adhesive anywhere. And if there is a little, use my adhesive remover. <laughs> All right. I got a little bit on my finger, I think. So now we're going to attach this layer that goes across here like this. And this piece is three quarters of an inch by four and three quarters of an inch, and that's for a shreesha or petal pink. And we'll get our And this one's gonna go under the score mark on this bottom section. And we want it to be, you know, as best we can across our card. Let me make sure it's straight. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Just like that. So now we have to figure out how far we want this piece to go. And we're gonna put dimensionals on the back. Okay, there's my dimensionals. So we have to figure out where we want it, okay? And what I did was I wanted this piece centered right there, and then that would catch it. So I'm gonna open this, I'm gonna pull the backs off, and we're gonna center this piece. And I'm just gonna place it in the middle here, centered on both sides, you know, give or take. So that's a scrap for Shreesha or Petal Pink. It depends on which way you make your card. And I, did, and I had basic white scraps also. So then this is gonna sit like that, okay? So now it's time to put our flower on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of my flower. And this part is gonna stick up and off. So I don't want anything past this flower across. So I can put here 
and then I can get my minis. You know, I can have one there, I can have one there, but that's it, that's the line. And then we're gonna use one there, one there, one there. You guys know how much I like dimensionals and I don't like anything to sag, so it's getting a ton of dimensionals. And then I'm gonna use my scraps. Let's use this piece up here. We're gonna cut this, we'll put, put one there. Let's use this piece. I don't know if you can hear Jasper, but he's uh, having a little dig fest in his house. And there's the other one. I'm gonna put one here also. Just gonna use this piece on the pod section right there. All right, so let's put those out of the camera. All right. So let's get the backs off. Where is my take your pick tool? Oh, it rolled into my drawer. All right, so let's pull these guys off. There's my, my smaller flower, we're almost done. All right. So let's go ahead and attach, so. We want this to be here and I'm not gonna actually press it into place yet because I want this flower to go next. So I want it to look natural, like it's, you know, out. So we'll place that one first. And then I'm gonna hold this up. I'm gonna make sure that I have it how I want it to look. And I'm gonna press that down. And so there's our card when it's closed. And there's our card when it's raised. And then we're gonna add the finishing touch, which is our brushed brass butterflies. And I'm gonna grab the pointy end. So I'm gonna lay this down. We're gonna put a large one over here, kind of flying, flying around this section. And then we're gonna put a baby. I wanna put it on a dark piece. I want it to really show up. Well, let's put one here first. Let's put it like that. And then let's grab one of these and put it on a dark piece so that you can see it. And it's flying this way. Actually, I think I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna put it on my card. No, I like it here. I'm gonna put it back where I had it originally so that it's flying off. And there are my brass brushed butterflies. There's my easel card. I think it turned out fantastic. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I hope you do. I am going to bring in our stamp set again so that you can see how beautiful it is. I hope you guys got a screenshot of uh, me writing the dimensionals for you guys on the, not the dimensionals, the dimensions <clears throat> for you guys. Let's bring our stamp set in. So we used Beautifully Happy. We used scalloped contour dies and fancy flora. And I hope that you enjoyed that. I enjoyed the whole process. I thought it was fantastic. So don't forget, I'm gonna put the petal pink pad also. And I appreciate you guys being with me. I will see you tomorrow for a video where I will explain the coloring process and what stamps to use for what. And I'm grateful to have you here. 
please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and share me with your friends. I would greatly appreciate that. And um, check out my blog, InkyHandsWarmHearts.com. This is Kelly. Thanks for being here. Happy stamping!